This screencast concerns working with Aspen 7.3.2. I'm going to talk about understanding the thermodynamic models and the parameters for binary mixtures. I've created a case already that involves isopropanol and water and we've determined that we're going to use the NRTL method by default. So I'm now within the folder looking at the binary parameters for the NRTL equation. And when you look at these, you can see that uh, I've got four parameters here for the binary. Well, what exactly are these? Also, if you have binary systems without parameters, you can click this box to have Aspen estimate the activity coefficients using UNIFAC. If you click this box, you can find the information about the fitting that Aspen has done for this particular data set and how well it fits the existing data. I'll show you how to access actual data in a different screencast. Now, if we are interested in getting help, we can press F1. F1 will pop up the help system. Aspen knows we're on the dialog box to enter parameters for the activity coefficient expressions. We can browse down to find out how Aspen is using parameters by opening the physical property system reference and then we're interested in models and we're particularly interested in physical property models and we're interested in thermodynamic property models for activity coefficients. And we are interested in the NRTL equation. So here you see I get information about the way that Aspen has implemented the NRTL equation. What's important for us to understand is how these parameters A and B are related to the literature rendition of the NRTL model where tau is used. And you can see this is the relationship. The temperature units will be important and I'll discuss those in just a second. The alpha is the non-randomness parameter. Note that Aspen provides for a fairly complicated temperature dependence for the parameters. Normally a maximum or two are fairly common, but usually you, I don't see all four being used. In the literature, um, in the original rendition, usually only one parameter is used, which would be the BIJ. Be careful when you're using parameters from literature and entering them into Aspen. Always note the form of the Aspen equation and the sign on the equation variables, as well as the units. Alright, so now I understand something about how Aspen is using these parameters. I also have to pay attention to these temperatures. This is the temperature range at which the parameters are known with confidence. And notice there are temperature units here. Now in the equation, the equation will always use absolute temperature units for the NRTL equation. But when I use C here, it's specifying that this B is to be divided by temperature in Kelvin. If I change this to F or to Rankin, then the temperature will be processed with Rankin. So be careful not to switch this between Fahrenheit and Celsius units once it's set. I've mentioned that other thermodynamic methods can be used. If I go back to the method specification, I can choose a different method, such as Wilson. If I do that, the parameters will change again and I will need to review the Wilson parameters to make sure they're acceptable. Alright, so I've covered the topics except for making a plot. To create a plot, I'm going to use this binary button to look at properties. If I'm interested in pure component properties, I can use the peer button. We can generate different types of diagrams. We can do TXY, PXY, or Gibbs energy. Let's do a TXY for this system of isopropanol water with mole fraction of isopropanol. We are going to generate 51 points across the composition range. This is important if you have a system that might form li two liquid phases. You want to be sure and choose vapor liquid liquid. 
In this case, we are going to have missable components. All right. I'm going to set this at uh, one atmosphere, 1.013 bar, and let's use the NRTL method. And I click Run. Here is the diagram. If I'm interested in changing units, I could change the units. If I want the data, for example, to copy and paste into a spreadsheet, those are available under the Results tab. I can click here to select everything, copy it, and then paste it into a spreadsheet. 